Hey, I'm Natalia from natalia.com and in this video, you're going to learn how to create a business email address for free. That's right, no more your name at gmail.com, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Now, from now on, you're going to start working with a very, very cool and very, very branded email address. Normally, it's probably going to be something like your name at yourdomain.com. Now, there are two things that you're going to need in order to make this happen for free. The first thing you need is your domain already prepared, right? In my case, for example, my email address is hi at natalia.com. My cool video editor will put this here on the screen. So the domain that I have is actually nataliaray.com. And the second thing you're going to need is a hosting service, right? A hosting service is essentially a service that you pay for every single year in order to make sure that your website, right, everything that you put under your domain name will actually be online and available for people to visit. So same goes with your email address. The second that you have your hosting account, your email address will be put online and be available for people to send email to. And also you will be able to send emails outside of that for yourself as well. So let's see how I'm doing that. And you will be able to do this with the host that I'm currently using, which I'm gonna tell you about in a second, or you can do this with any kind of hosting service that you have as long as they have something called a cPanel, right? So make sure that you use a hosting service with a cPanel. In this case, I use my favorite hosting service, which is called SiteGround, which you can check all about in atiray.com forward slash host, H-O-S-D host. So I just logged in into my account. And the first thing I'm going to do is to click on the websites tab. And then under the website that I want to create an email address for, which in this case is nataliaray.com, I'm going to click on site tools. And it will take me to the place inside my cPanel, which is essentially the interface that I use to kind of like manage all of my hosting stuff. Here on the left, you will see a tab called email, right? So I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to click on accounts. And right here, the only thing I need to do is to choose which email address I want to create. In this case, I'm just going to uh, name it Q as in questions at natiaray.com. And I'm going to need a password. In this case, I'm just going to put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to delete this email address right after this video. And then I'm going to click create. Let's see if it allows me to do that. It doesn't allow me to do this with a simple um, password. So let me put a more complex one. And then I'm going to create, click on create. And the second that I have, my email account is already created and I can literally use it and access it through my host. So let me show you how I do that. I'm going to scroll a little bit below until you will see my email address is created here. I don't want to scroll anymore because then you will see all of my email addresses, which is not very good for privacy. So what I do once I have this email address created, you literally can send emails right now to q at natalia.com. I'm going to click on the three dots here and click on login to webmail. I'm going to click on that one second, wait for SiteGround to allow me in. And in a second, I'm also going to uh, point out to another video that I have that will allow you to connect this uh, email address into your Gmail account. So let's say that you have a normal Gmail account, but you actually want to send email as and receive email as your branded, your business email address. You can do that. And I'm going to actually give you a link to this video right here that I think I've created in the past. If not, this is just going to be like a blank space. We'll see. I have no idea. And or you can see that I have my email created, right? I've created a business email address for free using nothing but my domain name and a host. You can do that with any kind of cPanel hosting service that you have. My recommendation is to use SiteGround because they are freaking unbelievable, both in their service as well as their customer service, which is like, once you're going to hit your first problem with your website, you will need a good uh, customer service and SiteGround do provide that. You can check more about them in atiro.com forward slash host. And that's pretty much it. Please let me know if you have any questions below in the comments here right below this video. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, why the heck not? Did you know this channel is all about helping you create your own profitable and freedom-based digital business that you can start, manage, and grow from home or from anywhere in the world using nothing but your laptop and a Wi-Fi connection? If you're into that, I would love for you to subscribe. I publish new videos every single week. Hope this video has been helpful for you. I'm going to see you in the next video. Until then, gotta bye.